Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to series. In today's video we're going to be talking about a very unusual asteroid we discovered uh, a few years ago, but very recently we found out that it's actually quite unusual in its formation and its structure. Let's talk about this unusual object known as 2004 EW95 and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So the reason I wanted to start on Ceres is actually because this is the biggest representative of the asteroid belt. And it's also very, very similar in composition to the object we're going to be taking a look at. So Ceres, as you probably know, is located between Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt. So if I kind of zoom out of here and show you where it's located, you'll see that it's basically orbiting in this belt known as the asteroid belt. Uh, a lot of the rocks that are in this region are usually what's, what are known as uh, carbonaceous asteroids. Basically, they're made up of um, carbon, silicates, a little bit of metal, and uh, they're quite well studied and quite well known to us. So there is uh, Ceres, this is Jupiter, and I believe this right here is Mars. Let's just double check if this is Mars. Oh no, this is Earth actually. I guess Mars is on the other side. It's probably on the opposite side of its orbit right now. So, um, but we're not really looking at these objects today. We're actually taking a look at uh, an asteroid that we discovered back in 2004, but it was always kind of weird. We didn't really know why it was so unusually different from other asteroids. So let me actually first show you where it's located. And the interesting thing about this asteroid known as 2004 EW, 95 is that it's very similar in composition to other asteroids in this region, except that Take a look at where it's located. It is very very far away. It's actually in the region known as the Kuiper's Belt So in other words, it's kind of in the region where usually comets are But it turns out that this asteroid uh, is very similar to Ceres, very similar to other carbonaceous asteroids, and uh, basically it seems to be a little bit out of place. So how do we actually find out that this asteroid is so different? Well, we started looking at, at its colors and the spectrum it was producing and realized it was actually much darker than everything else in this region. It didn't really contain a lot of um, ices and a lot of uh, basically water-like elements that are usually present here and instead contained a lot of uh, very unusual elements that are kind of typical of asteroids closer to Earth, specifically ferric oxides, which are basically uh, iron oxides, and uh, phyllosilicates, which are basically types of rock. Normally, this would be all ice, but not for this asteroid. Now, this thing is actually really, really big as well. In this game, it's at 100 kilometers, but it's actually more like 300 kilometers in uh, size. So it's a huge, huge rock. It's basically a very, very large asteroid that somehow ended up in this region of space where we normally expect comets, or basically ice objects. So can you kind of take a guess how it got here? Well, it's most likely that it got kicked out of the asteroid belt by Jupiter. As a matter of fact, we think that there's actually quite a lot of these unusual asteroids in this region. And this was just the first we've discovered it's so weird. Now, uh, a lot of really advanced techniques had to be used to try to find out what this is made out of, but we're like 99% certain that this is essentially an asteroid that uh, gravitationally got slingshot into the outer solar system and then most likely uh, got uh, into the circular, relatively circular orbit uh, through the gravitational uh, pools of Neptune and possibly Uranus. And so, for all we know, many of these rocks actually did come from the inner uh, solar system, and there's probably a lot more of them out there that we need to discover and study a little bit more. Now, because this is such an interesting and unusual object, and because it's so big, it's definitely something that uh, is a little bit surprising. It's a surprising discovery. This is a lot larger than most asteroids we have in the inner solar system, and this also suggests that a lot of the larger rocks, possibly even larger than Ceres, may have been thrown out by Jupiter as well. 
Oh, and by the way, the person who actually discovered this uh, was, I believe, uh, Tom Seacole of Queen's University in Belfast in the UK. And he essentially, uh, or I guess his team was able to measure the uh, spectrum of this anomalous uh, object uh, relatively recently, and they only published this paper in May of 2018. Now, this is actually not the first such object we discovered coming from this region, but it's the first one we found that only stays in this region. The first unusual asteroid we discovered that came close to the Sun and we thought it was a comet but turned out to be an asteroid was actually known as C 2014 S3, also known as Panstar uh, 1. I believe we might actually have a similar object here, Panstar's object, right there. It does say it's a comet, but in reality it's actually an asteroid. Uh, so basically, it's yet again a similar object that got kicked out by Jupiter, but this object, I believe, has a more elliptical orbit. So, in other words, it does come close to the Sun, and although normally, if this was a comet, it would actually start emitting a lot of particles and create a cometary tail, Panstars 1 didn't actually do that. As a matter of fact, it just stayed or remained as a rock, and then uh, returned back to the other reaches of solar system. So in other words, there is most likely a lot of these objects that are very, very similar to Ceres. So Ceres might actually have even larger brothers and sisters out there that could be orbiting in the outer Kuiper belt that we haven't really detected yet. So for all we know, Ceres might not be the largest uh, dwarf planet that came from the, uh, the asteroid belt, and we might even discover something that's ridiculously big compared to even Ceres. Now, only the future will tell we'll, whether we'll discover more of these objects, but for now, what we know is that early solar system definitely was a crazy, crazy place. A lot of the objects basically got reshuffled and kicked out by gas giants, and um, today we are almost certain this is actually how the early solar system developed. And because we discovered this unusual rock, we now are almost certain that uh, our theories were kind of correct. That Definitely, there was a lot of reshuffling, a lot of uh, gas giants influencing various objects and basically redefining orbits of various objects. So in other words, this was a key verification of the fundamental prediction of dynamical models of the early solar system, which are the exact words of the authors of this paper. Well, that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video. It's basically a discovery of or I guess rediscovery of this object known as 2004 EW95. Doesn't really have a better name, unfortunately. And uh, this is just an asteroid, but in the wrong place of the solar system. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And potentially consider supporting the channel on Patreon because it does help me make better videos with time and purchase better equipment. I'll see you guys later.